Welcome to Area of Parallelograms. We just finished uh, learning about area and perimeter. Basically, perimeter as a review goes around the figure, like a fence you're putting up around the polygon. And area is the square units inside the polygon, so covering the polygon. So today we're going to be talking about specifically parallelograms. So remember, parallelograms are figures that have opposite sides parallel, and there's two sides of that. So two pairs of parallel sets. All right, so the area of parallelograms, the formula for finding the area of a rectangle is area equals length times width. We just talked about that in the other video. The formula for finding the area of a parallelogram is base times height. So make sure you write down area is base times height. The formulas for area of a rectangle and parallelogram are very similar. So if we're going to make, uh, go ahead and record this as well because the length um, in our rectangle is equivalent to the base of a parallelogram and the width of, like in our rectangle, is the same as a height in a parallelogram. So they're essentially the same equation, the base and the height. One thing about me, uh, going back to my desserts, I love tiramisu. Tiramisu is one of my favorites, so love it, tiramisu. It's full of coffee flavor. All right, so area of parallelograms. How do you find the area of a parallelogram? So here you can see the height of a parallelogram is 5 and the base is 8. Well, because uh, you can't just use a diagonal to find height, whenever you're asked to find the area, you're going to be given the height. Typically, it will be a dotted line to signify height and that it's not part of the figure. But for this situation, it is a straight line or a solid line. So think, um, change the parallelogram to a rectangle. So where this line is essentially is saying that it is five centimeters tall. Well, if you look over here, you see there's like a piece of a figure missing, right? And you look over here, we have some extra figure. So we're going to be able to move this piece right here. If you can visualize this, we're going to be able to move it right there. And then what do you have? You have a rectangle. So if you can visualize what I was just talking about, this piece right here, we're cutting it off and we are flipping it and rotating it and putting it right here. So change the parallelogram to a rectangle while making a triangle on the one end and sliding it to the other end. So I do want you to write that down and draw this figure. Uh, so with this, following the formula though, just so you can know the formula, it's base times height. So again, we said the base was 8 and the height was 5. And you can't see this because I've cut off this, the, the bottom, but the answer is 40 centimeters square. So it is very important that you are putting a centimeter, whatever the unit is, squared when we're talking about area. Going back to my traveling days, uh, I have a friend that has a place in Costa Rica. So again, for spring break a couple of years ago, uh, my boyfriend and I went to Costa Rica and enjoyed the beautiful you know, rainforest and beaches there. So that was Costa Rica. Remember that for your quiz. All right, so with area of parallelograms, how does the area of the rectangle compare to the area of the parallelogram? As you can see, the base is, or the length is 8 and the height is 5. Same for this one. And again, sorry it's cut off, but the answer for both of them is 40 centimeters square. Because when you move this triangular piece over to right here, you have your rectangle made. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the two figures are equal in area. So rectangles and parallelograms. Why is that? Because a, par a rectangle is a parallelogram. Remember, the definition for a parallelogram is a figure with two pairs of parallel sides. And the rectangle fits that definition. We have two pairs of parallel sides. And that's the end of parallelograms. One last thing I'm going to tell you about myself, what I like to do in my free time, I also like to explore new places. I don't like going to the same place twice. I like doing new things. So you'll always find me somewhere new. <laughs>